Having a shared lucid dream can be a unique and fascinating experience. This stuff works really well. That's really good. Yeah, I, I can't find much wrong with this, to be honest. Interesting. It didn't, it didn't. All right, so I thought I would ask ChatGPT to invent a lucid dreaming technique. ChatGPT is a, a new AI system developed by OpenAI, which is a company run by, among other people, Elon Musk. And, and basically it's this AI system. Well, you know this, right? You know what ChatGPT is. It's a crazy smart AI. This The model that I'm using now is 3.5 which is the like the paid version of it. I think you pay $20 a month or something. I, I'm going to do it in a second with ChatGPT4, which is the, the newest one at the time of recording this in, towards the end of March. And yeah, it's pretty crazy. I might make another video about what AI means, but I just thought it would be fun to see what an AI would create as a lucid dreaming technique. So I just said literally invent a new lucid dreaming technique and see what ChatGPT says. So let's get into it. So I have done a little bit of experimentation before, but see what it gives us. So it's called reality reflection. And here's how the technique works. Before going to bed, spend some time thinking about the upcoming day and visualizing yourself permanently performing reality checks throughout the day. Okay, so similar to the mild and dialed, these could be things like checking your reflection in a mirror, looking back at the time on a clock, and then as you fall asleep, repeat to yourself the phrase, I will see my reflection in my dream and become lucid. So it's based on using a mirror. When you find yourself in a dream, look for a reflective surface. This could be a mirror, a window, a body of water, or anything that can reflect your image. Okay. When you see your reflection, focus on it and remind yourself that you are dreaming. Take a moment, uh, take a moment to stabilize the dream by touching objects and observing your surroundings. Once you feel stable, go ahead and explore the dream world and enjoy your lucid dream. Okay. This technique is based on the idea of seeing your reflection in a dream and training your brain to become aware of the dream state. Okay, Okay. so you use the mantra and the affirmation here to repeat to yourself, I will see my reflection in the dream. Okay, so you're practicing your memory. And then when you find yourself in the dream, look for a ref reflective surface. That's where it breaks apart. Because at this point, you're not yet lucid. How can you decide to look for a reflective surface if you're not yet lucid? Okay, so back to the mirror problem. So it said, one way to increase the chances of looking for a reflective surface in your dream is to use reality checks in your daily routine. And then it tells you what a reality check is, very good. And then it's saying to use a reality check of looking at your hands and counting your fingers. Yeah, not bad. I prefer the finger palm push, but counting your fingers can also work. The only thing is with that, uh, sometimes you will count your fingers in a dream, you'll count to like seven or something, and that will seem normal to you. And you'll think, oh, seven, you know, <laughs> everything is how it should be. Um, Whereas with the finger palm push, it's ver it's like a binary thing. It's like it either goes through your palm or it doesn't. So there's no there's no way you can deceive yourself. It's a lot harder to deceive yourself and make yourself think that it's normal for it to go through. It either goes through or it doesn't. Um, so yeah, that's one my only criticism of that technique. Another way to increase your chances of finding a mirror in the dream is to visualize yourself doing it before you fall asleep. Okay, so it's not bad. Visualizing what you're going to do in the dream before you do it is actually not a bad technique. That's that kind of works very well. And then repeat the phrase, "I will see my reflection in a dream and become lucid." Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, that's good. That works. And then it ended on something which is quite important and quite good, I would say. So it says it's worth noting that sometimes, even with the best preparation, dreams can be unpredictable. If you don't see a mirror in your dream, don't get discouraged. Keep practicing your reality checks and visualization, and eventually you will have a lucid dream. I couldn't agree more. It's very unpredictable. Sometimes you'll be doing everything right and nothing happens. And that's just part of it. So I'm asking it now to invent the most effective lucid dreaming reality check ever. So hopefully this will be a new one. All right, let's just take it step by step here. So it's called intentional awareness. So I'm guessing it's gonna be similar to all day awareness. Throughout the day, ask yourself, am I dreaming? But instead of answering the question, take a moment to become fully aware of your surroundings and your current state of mind. That's not bad, actually. Being mindful in your reality check is super important. Notice your physical sensations, the smells and sounds around you, and your thoughts and emotions. This is actually already very good. And I would say this is like, uh, you know, effective stuff. With, when it comes to reality checks, this stuff works really well. Ask yourself, how did I get here? What was I doing before this moment? So this is playing into uh, mental reality checks, one of my favorites. Try and recall the events leading up to the moment. So like how you got to where you are in the dream. That's actually pretty cool. And then finally, ask yourself, if I was dreaming now, what would be different? That's a good question. What would be different? Yeah. And then you would start to, your brain would kind of unlock the dream itself. And it says, by practicing this check regularly, you train yourself to become more aware, more present during the moment, which carries over into your dreams. I have to say, like, 
considering this is just a language model, this seems to understand concepts very well. And it's almost quite unsettling how, how well it understands concepts and it can break things down, pull ideas from different places. Oh, I love that. So it says one of the advantages of this reality check is that it doesn't rely on external cues. So you can do it anywhere at any time and it cultivates mindfulness and self-awareness, which has benefits beyond just lucid dreaming. That's really good. Yeah, I, I can't find much wrong with this, to be honest. So this is a new reality check by ChatGPT called Intentional Awareness. Very similar to All Day Awareness, but yeah, I like it. Not bad. What should we ask it next? Let's ask it how to have a shared lucid dream. Interesting. It didn't, it didn't straight away say shared dreaming is not possible. Having a shared lucid dream can be a unique and fascinating experience, but it's a challenging task because it requires coordinating the dream state of multiple people. Interesting that it's a language model that's been trained on available data and it's straight away saying it's possible, basically. So I'm going to ask it some juicy questions in a second. So it's basically just saying the techniques that I think I've made a video about this before, find a partner who wants to do it, uh, practice lucid dreaming, set the shared intention of like a dream scene, a particular place, a particular thing you're going to do in the dream, and then use reality checks, both you and your partner during the day. Wake back to bed technique, not bad. Targets your longest REM sleep during the night. Yeah. And then go back to sleep, meet in the dream. Yeah. Cool. All right. Is astral projection real? Because this is an interesting one, because mainstream, uh, mainstream society and science would say that it's not real. Ah, uh, there we go. Currently, there's no scientific er evidence to support the existence of astral projection. There are a few studies, actually, but okay, fair enough. Maybe it's been trained on only specific sets of data. But interesting, isn't it, that it said it's saying that the data says astral projection is not real, but it's saying that shared lucid dreaming is real. So I find that quite interesting. Regardless of the debate surrounding the reality of astral projection, some people report having experienced it and find it to be a very trans find it to be a transformative and meaningful experience. Hmm. Interesting. What about how can I lucid dream tonight? I'm going to ask it how to lucid dream tonight guaranteed. And it says as a language model, I cannot guarantee that you'll have a lucid dream tonight. I guess yeah, there's not much it can do other than just give you information. Here are some techniques that may increase your chances of having a lucid dream, reality checks, wake back to bed, visualization. Yeah. The standard stuff, right? Okay, let's stop that. So yeah, overall, it's it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, I find AI fascinating and also scary at the same time. Maybe you're the same. Um, but with this one in particular, ChatGPT, I like it. I think it's very good. It's very intuitive, easy to use. Um, and as you saw, it just kind of invented a lucid dreaming technique, invented a reality check that seemed to work really well. So yeah, uh, thumbs up from me. But we have to maybe kind of watch AI a little bit because it could get out of hand very quickly. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, some interesting, interesting prompts you found regarding lucid dreaming and things like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.